Hey guys, so today I am so excited to film this video. This is just one of those days where I'm just like, not that I'm ever not excited about doing videos, but it's just like, I don't know, it's gloomy out and it just felt good to get ready and like, I just feel like this is an exciting video anyway. So, um, especially with a new baby, when you have a minute to do something, like you need to take full advantage of it. So I may like do some back to back videos here, but. So this will be a skincare video. I'm going to be telling you guys about a new sort of um, routine that I've been using over the past several weeks and it's sort of an initial type thing because I'm very, you know, skeptical um, about reviews and stuff, especially the skincare stuff because it really takes a long time, several weeks really, for um, for you to really start seeing results. So a lot of times, you know, like when you see a review where someone's just tried something a few times or they're like, no, I don't, you know, you just know that you don't like something like the scent or the this or the that, but if it's something like actual results that the product's claiming to deliver and you've used it like one or two times and you're like, oh, it doesn't work, you've really got to give it a, a, a shot over a long time because skincare products really take a while to sort of work. Some longer than others, just depends on what it's doing. I'm going to give you an overview on what I'm doing. This last week, my skin has been a lot better. The last several videos, my skin has looked horrible and really like over the last year when, I mean, and over the time that I've been pregnant and stuff, I've had skin issues, like hormonal skin issues, mostly around my chin. Um, I have good skin around my cheeks and my forehead and everything. Usually it's, you know, it's nice and that stayed nice. Thankfully it was just around my chin and like hormonal areas that had a problem. But I'm sort of, you know, now I can use some products that I wasn't really comfortable using when I was pregnant, certain ingredients and things like that, that I just wasn't comfortable using. So, you know, now I'm just really excited to sort of get back into it and give my skin like an overhaul and get it back to being really good again. And um, this la these last couple days, especially this last week, I have, so it's been sort of in the I would say like healing phase where I've started to actually notice like good results. I've been using this sort of like whole routine for a while now, most of it. Things take a couple weeks to really start seeing like a good improvement. So um, the last couple days when I've done my makeup, I've just felt so good about how my skin has looked. It has been a huge improvement. It's not perfect by any means yet. Um, but I'm really excited, so I'm going to share with you all that, and then I'm going to give you the details of this amazing giveaway that I'm so excited about. Um, we are going to be giving away an iPad mini. This is mine. This is not the one you'll be getting. This is my personal one that I've had for, um, gosh, probably I'd say like three years. Is that right? I wouldn't. Three years? Two years? Anyways, I love this. It is one of my favorite things. And um, the iPad mini, Brad has a regular iPad, but I like the mini because you can like hold it like this, you know, and you can, or you can hold it with one hand and, you know, you can actually do, with his, I just feel like it's so huge and it's just, you know, um, which those are great too, but I just, I love my iPad mini. So you'll get to select your color and everything. I don't have the one that you'll actually get because of that reason. And then three other people are going to win. Apple gift cards. So um, I will be giving you all the details on that. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and share that with you first um, and then we'll get into the whole skincare uh, goodies. But since a lot of my products are by Colleen Rothschild and that is a fairly a uh, new brand or a, fairly, a brand that a lot of people may not know about. A lot of you do. It's become very popular and for good reason. It gets great reviews. It's legit good stuff. I always like to offer you guys some sort of a discount when I talk about it. So we will have a discount code and all that will be below. So if you do want to order anything that I mentioned, that'll be below. But I will share with you the details of the giveaway. It is the easiest giveaway of all time. Um, most of you guys have an Instagram account. If you don't, you should. Instagram is my favorite and definitely my most used like social media form. What you do is you follow me on Instagram, which if you're watching you probably are, and my Instagram link is below. It's just make it by Tiffany D on Instagram. You can search that and or you can you know whatever. Um, and then also follow Colleen Rothschild. They post um, she's just gorgeous. I just, I really love her. She's just the nicest person and very smart and very knowledgeable, very hands-on with her products, which whenever I support a brand, it's always brands that are like that. Um, like a new brand or not that it's a new brand, but you know what I mean. Um, just very involved and she's very smart. She's been in the beauty industry for a year. Like it's just, it's good stuff. Okay. Um, 
So follow her at Colleen Rothschild, and I will also put that below. And then as you do on Instagram, you just post a photo of your current favorite beauty essentials, beauty products, whatever. As if you have an Instagram account and you love beauty, you probably have already done that several times anyways. It's not going to be anything crazy out of the norm. But, you know, take a picture of some of your favorite current beauty products, which I will really enjoy looking at because I'm a beauty product junkie, as you guys know, obviously. And then in the caption of your photo of your current favorite beauty essentials, they can be any brand, they don't have to be calling or not, they can be anything you want. Um, in the caption to submit the photo for the contest or the giveaway, just put hashtag Colleen Rothschild. So just tag the photo um, so that she can see it, so that I can see it, so that you'll be entered in and then um, someone will select at random out of that whole pool of tagged images and then they'll make sure that you're following both of us and then they will contact you. You'll get to pick your iPad and then there'll be three runners up that win $50 Apple gift cards. So that's really fun. That is a contest that I would enter because it's just so freaking easy. Now the contest will end on March 20th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, make sure that you get your entries in before then. Uh, so that's fun, really exciting, kind of ties into the whole skincare thing. So um, I know that was a lot to talk about before the video, but I feel like there's just so much to talk about. Anyways, just I just feel like I just want to chat with you guys. There's just a lot of things coming up. So we'll talk about my routine, how it's been working for me. This is going to be sort of an initial thing, even though I've been using it for a couple weeks and I'm already seeing results. Um, I feel like my skin looks the best today that it has looked in a very long time, and best you know in the couple past couple days and past week. Um, but then also I'll be giving you guys an update. So I'm not saying look at the great results. This is completely done. Um, but I will give you guys an update as I like to do. I like to do skincare updates here and there. So I'll let you guys know um, in about a month, you know, like how things are going and how this has really worked and everything. My main issues are breakouts, clogged pores. Um, I am a little oily, especially in my chin T-zone area. Um, my cheeks are always perfectly clear. I just wish the whole, like my whole skin looked like that. Like there's no pore. They just, I have good cheeks, um, but bad issues with hormonal breakouts and stuff, but I'm also wanting to take care of my skin. I just don't want to use like a bunch of like um, really harsh acne treatments or things that are going to dry my skin out, thus causing like lines and stuff like that. I really also want to take care of my skin because I am getting older and I want, you know, to use good, nice things. So I'll take you through my routine. I'm actually going to start with my nighttime routine. So during the day, you know, I've got on makeup. If I'm not wearing heavy makeup, I'll usually have on like a CC cream or something like that. So at night, I like to remove my makeup. And I have been using the Colleen Rothschild Beauty Balm and, or Beauty Balm, Radiant Cleansing Balm, which I've talked about so much. Um, I've had several of these. This one, oh, it just smells so good. Uh, this one's about halfway done, and um, I have kind of a heavy hand. Uh, I've, I've been really trying to, with this one, um, not have such a heavy hand. I do use it every single night, and um, it comes with a muslin cloth, so I've got several of those, uh, which I've sort of collected from having a few different ones. This is like a luxurious feeling treatment for me. I use it um, on dry skin. You just rub it all in, and then you use a muslin cloth with like hot, warmish water and um, you just get everything off. It gets off your mascara, it gets off everything. And the muslin cloth sort of, um, well it does, it really kind of exfoliates your skin and it makes your skin feel really comfortable, which I quite enjoy. I've talked about this before a lot, but um, this is something that I would highly recommend and it's probably my favorite product of hers. Sometimes I have been alternating that. Um, when I just wear like a CC cream, like I said, I don't have on much eye makeup or, you know, just day to day, I have been using this. It's a simple cleansing water, micellar water. A lot of brands have these. This one's very inexpensive and I actually really like it. Don't buy this with the intent of removing like a whole full face of eye makeup and everything. It's not going to remove your waterproof makeup. It doesn't get my eyeliner off. Um, I use a separate product to get off eye stuff if I use this, which is kind of a pain because the, the Colleen Rothschild Cleansing Balm does everything. Um, but what I like to use this for is if I'm, I've just used like a CC cream or, you know, which it was just me most days, you know, I just have on a little bit of mascara. It's just not a big deal. Um, I'll get a cotton pad and just use this and it's just very, very easy. Now, sometimes at night, I don't do this every night, uh, but you know, maybe like a couple times a week or whatever, I'll use this dual enzyme polish. Um, this is an exfoliator. It's an actual 
like it has grittiness to it so if you're in a hurry and you just want to use it as an exfoliate you can do that but really it's meant to be left on your skin for about five minutes you can really feel the enzymes like working and it gets that layer off your face of dead skin very comparable to like the Kate Somerville exfoliate but I do not like the scent or the color that just product kind of grosses me out but this one smells very like fruity um I'm a little crusty and kind of gross before I've used it but um, it's just very like apricot fruitiness and a little goes a very long way. So um, this is also one of those, I do like to use this at night. Sometimes I'll use this in the morning because I find if I do that, sometimes like my makeup goes on really well. If I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup or do something special. And then at night I've been using this Colleen Rothschild Retinol Treatment Complex. I was afraid to use this in the beginning because I hadn't been using anything harsh on my skin at all, like any treatments during my pregnancy. And so I was afraid I was going to experience a little dryness and I have found that with her treatments she has got really good ingredients in them. I think this one has either this one or the salicylic. I remember specifically reading has the hyaluronic acid in it which is very you know, very moisturizing and stuff. But I can use this literally like all over my face and um, like everywhere where I need it, over my brick, everywhere. I don't get any irritation. Now I will follow this with a moisturizer, but I find that sometimes I do not even need one and I know that's bad. People will say, oh, you have to have a moisturizer. Sometimes I don't and these are very, if you use these, you'll, you'll know what I mean. They're just very like, they make your skin feel comfortable. So I use the retinol at night. If I want to use a moisturizer, I use this one. It's very light, and I'm mainly just using this to get rid of it. Um, but it's 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 a good moisturizer. It's the uh, Shiseido Pureness Mattifying Moisturizer Oil Free, and this is a product that I've loved for years. And um, recently, I'd gotten this, and I just thought that I would uh, put that into my routine, and it's been working really, really well. And then you know, the retinol is great for aging. It's great for all that stuff. But she's got a new. Um, serum. It's the Colleen Rothschild Age Renewal Super Serum. The color of this is so pretty. It reminds me of like my bathroom walls, like that Benjamin Moore healing aloe color that I love. Um, but anyways, this is a really cool product. And um, I've, I've, used, I've had it for a little while. I've used it to about right there. It's very thick, so it kind of really clings. But you can use this pretty much just where you need it. Um, for me, I use it here, like where... <laughs> I found my first wrinkle years back. That was tragic. No, I'm kidding. But um, no, I use it here and then right there. So I just kind of, I pat it in. I put it on my fingers. I go like that and I just pat it in. I'm sort of lazy with my eye cream and sometimes I don't always do it. I didn't even bring it in here. It is in my bathroom. But it's the uh, Mar Mario Badescu, the Hyaluronic um, eye cream. It's just a very simple eye cream and I have a little bit left and I'm just trying to use the rest of it. So very simple eye cream, any eye cream, but it's not essential to this whole process. So in the morning, I do have oily skin and I do find the need to wash my face in the morning. I can't just splash water on it and be good. I have to sort of do something. Um, I love Dove Soap, just the regular Dove Bar Beauty Bar. And I've talked about that before. It makes my skin look good. It makes it feel good. It doesn't cause any extra breakouts. It never does anything to my pores. Like, like I said, my pores stay really nice. Um, so sometimes like if I'm in the shower, I'll use that. Um, or I will just use the simple cleansing water on a cotton pad and just a quick swipe will get off the treatments from the night before and all that. So again, this is cool. I like it. And then to finish off my morning routine, I will use this salicylic treatment complex that's Colleen Rothschild. And I do not use this everywhere. Um, I use it just mainly here. I'll use it a little right there. Um, this is how I do it. Like I just put on my hands and I get it like, you know, and I'll um, sort of, let's see, I'll just press it here and then go right there and then on my forehead. So I don't rub it everywhere. Um, I don't want to layer like a ton of products. And I don't use a very thick uh, coating of this. But this and the retinol is the same sort of like consistency. It feels like it has those same like good skin ingredients in them as well. Like that keeps your skin comfortable. So I don't feel like my skin is like thirsting for a moisturizer afterwards. Um, but what I usually do is I'll go into my It Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And most days this is what I wear. It's just very simple. I did recently purchase it in Fair. I was finding the light. I was having to just blend it in a little too much. Um, it was just a hair too dark. But the Fair works really great on me. So yeah, the main like treatments that I'm using 
is the retinol at night, salicylic during the day. I have had absolutely zero irritation, which is nuts because my skin, I feel, is not super sensitive by any means. I can use, you know, acne treatments. I can use pretty harsh things. And sometimes I will get a little bit of dryness, though. Um, I have not had any, and I've been using these for over two weeks now which like I said is enough time to like notice things happening which I have um, I've noticed that my skin looks when it's clean and it well not that it's not clean but it, you know I've got makeup on it but um, it's just very shiny and like looks like you can't see my pores right there you know what I mean like it just looks even and like um, the texture I feel is improving around my chin where I do have like texture issues and like pores and like issues with clogged pores and breakouts and stuff from hormonal breakouts from oil and stuff because that's where I get the most oily right here um, my chin right here anytime that I've had this in the past it always clears up here first and then it's sort of this is the most like stubborn area but I don't have anything like all of my, my my chin right here is totally like smooth and there's like no clogged pores and then this is like seriously like there's no like major breakouts or anything even just like one or two on me looks like really not like I know when it looks noticeable in videos it's like literally like it'll be like three things and it'll be like BAM in your face um all that's gone but there are some like textural things left behind but it is like I would say 80% better and getting getting better and better so I am noticing a difference I'm impressed with these things um, some new products some old products this age renewal super serum if you've got dry skin if you've got aging skin I would highly recommend that um, like I'm not considering myself like that by any means but I do think that it's preventative and so um, I have noticed that in this area right here it looks less crepey less dry when I smile and stuff so I'm enjoying that a lot it just feels like so luxurious and I just want to put it like all over my skin but I know it's probably not gonna be like great for my skin um, because it is a little thicker and I think if you had drier skin you could totally do that and you weren't like you know dealing with breakouts and like all that good stuff bad stuff actually I'm, I wasn't even gonna mention this but quickly the and if I use a mask I will maybe twice a week if that it's probably at the most if I have time um, but the Glam Glow mask is always good Colleen Rothschild has one that is great it's very comparable to this um, but I did recently purchase this and I did want to use that and then the Basha cool blue peeling mask I have not used that sweet tea and lemon clay peel off mask yet, which I know clay peel off mask sounds crazy I um, have not used that yet because I'm trying to use this one up uh, But I will replace that one with this one, but this is a very good peel off mask if you've not tried this It's awesome. So that's what I'm doing. That's my whole skin little routine um, as far as, like I said, I was going to mention some things that I'm wearing. If you guys like this, which anytime I ever do this, you guys seem to like it. Um, I don't have my whole outfit on yet. I don't have my shoes. I may not wear these pants. I'm just wearing, like, some leggings. But, um, I'll talk about my jewelry and stuff. I have these little earrings from Target. These are so cute. They're, um, they're actually little bees. And I found some of the best accessories from Target recently. So, um... I actually was going to put them up and I put them in a little pile here because I thought maybe I'll talk about them in a video and I found a beauty product at Target that's amazing. Um, that's why I had that stuff in here because I know I'm going to talk about that. So I may do another Target video soon. You guys really liked that last one and we pretty much live at Target like from groceries to like you know babies anything that we need we go to Target. It's like our go-to place for everything. Um, but yeah I just I love these and they're very inexpensive so very impressed with Target as always but especially lately um, and then I've got this little bar pendant from Bobble Bar which is just good for layering I like layering this with the chunkier chains and um, things like that I like layering something anything with these chunkier chains but this I had for so long um, one of my subscribers years back sent me the sweetest package of all of her chunky chain jewelry and um, I just looked at her on Etsy last night and she's got a lot of new great things because I haven't looked on there in years um, but her store is by Bella collection and I will link to her stuff below um, she makes really cute stuff and it's lasted you know um, I mean I don't wear it every day or anything but it's nice you know it's 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 nice stuff and it's affordable um, my bracelets that I always wear that I, I was I took them off when I was um, when I had Olivia 
uh, from, you know, because I wasn't going to wear these while I was in the hospital and stuff. They're from my friend Lorraine's website, The Current Custom, and I will link to that below. And then I've got my low-kai bracelets, which I really like. I think these are fun. I get so many compliments on these, and um, I think two of them are really pretty together. And I'll link to where um, you can get these as well. And then my top is from Everlane. It's kind of bunching weird. Um, this gray one fits a little different than my white and my black. But I love these uh, pocket tees. They're just my favorite. Um, for my makeup, I will link to all this below as well. But I have to mention this. the I know this is going to be like the longest video of all time. But um, I mentioned these... I can not talk. The Maybelline Color Tattoo um, eyeshadows. And I talked about these years ago when they first came out. And just I think I had gotten like one nice color, which was the Bad to the Bronze. Or one like more wearable color. And then I would gotten a bunch of other more random fun colors and so I didn't like reach for them every day but I knew the quality was good but I didn't enjoy that bad to the bronze like I should so I repurchased that and I got this one as well on a whim um, just because I thought oh this will be the matte version of that that doesn't have any shimmer and it's the creamy beige and it is from the leather collection so if you can find this one get it um, I found mine at Target uh, so anyways this one is actually more beautiful on the lid, that's all I'm wearing today, um, than the Bad to the Bronze. It isn't flat and muddy, it looks like it is, but it has got like this beautiful shimmer to it that isn't shimmery. It's like the non-shimmer shimmeriness and it's just so pretty on your lids like I just put it all over and then I'll just blend it in my finger today I took a brush and blended it and it just turned out so nice so I didn't expect to get this one thinking I'll just put it on like I do bad to the bronze and just go with it because bad to the bronze is more like a cream version of MAC patina um, it has some it does have more of a shimmer frostiness to it uh, but this I didn't expect that I thought this was just gonna be like a base for eyeshadows but this one is actually prettier on it's just Trust me, if you can find this one, get it. It is so beautiful. It is the uh, Creamy Beige. Good stuff. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the Dior Grage Lip Liner, as always. The um, Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's called Bitch Perfect, the lipstick. And um, the YSL Nude Carrot. So, and then the Benefit, the one blush on my cheeks. So, okay long video I'm so sorry if you don't like long videos obviously you do though if you have made it this long so thank you um but yeah that is it I will be back with more videos coming up soon definitely don't forget to enter the giveaway super awesome super easy it'd be dumb not to because it's just like it's just easy um and fun too so I, I know I'm gonna enjoy going on there and searching the hashtag and looking at all of your favorite stuff because I just love looking at beauty products and pictures on Instagram of beauty products and people's favorites and stuff. Um, so I will put the, I know I've already gone over the rules and everything, the details, but I'll put that in the um, more info below the video as well. And yeah, anything that I've mentioned, I will definitely link to below so that you can find it all. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.